All right, Cam Getaway. So listen, I know we don't know each other quite well and we are still getting used to one another and I understand and get all of that. But I'm going to tell you something. Last night's episode was tired and delayed. All right. And Neely and Monica and, you know, Randall and all of you all that hit me up and y'all watching. I appreciate it. I'm glad y'all do. But y'all know my job as a reviewer is to be unbiased as much as possible. And as much as I love y'all, last night's episode was delayed. All right. I ain't take no notes. I don't even know what the name of the damn episode is, girl. Uh, girl quiet as it's kept. I don't even know what the number, what episode number I asked is even on. Like, I ain't going to figure none of that out until I get off of here and then do all of my editing and stuff and then pull it up on demand. Like, um, you know, it, and there's really no shade, but uh, y'all knew here. So I'm going to just go on ahead and let y'all know that shit right now. Like last night's episode, I really hope that was the last time we was going to see a tad delayed and through episode the way that it was. Nothing really good and it happened. Nothing was really climatic or, or, or nothing. I mean, you know, um, I'm going I'm to try to give the best that I got. I'm going to try to drag it out as long as I can so that I can at least, you know, um, chop a few videos up in this bitch. Um, like, comment, share, most importantly, subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell. Become the notification gang gang. If you really rock with my channel like y'all say y'all do, watch those ads. My PayPal and Cash App will be listed down into the description box. You can also donate to the channel by joining. I have two tiers. Both tiers are recurrent payment on your charge cards every month, and you can cancel at any time. You can also donate to the channel by going over to teesprings.com slash boutique for all of your tea talk needs. I only put that in there because I'm trying to make this out to 10 minutes as possible. Um, dear God, today, let's just hope I make it. Um, so home, homie chick that came, I don't even know her name. Don't really care to know her name. Um, the guest that was there, the featured guest that they show, um, I don't know what them bitches was doing there. Like, I, you know, I was with Adam, you know, as much as a person can be with Adam. But I was with Adam when he was like, girl, this is not the club. This is not, you know, you come here and you drink all weekend, you know, get drink, get fucked up and all of that. Like, if that's what y'all was expecting out of this, y'all could forget it. I honestly felt like the only reason why y'all came was just to call your parents and the guys y'all laying up with and say, hey, ma, look at me. I'm on Bravo on Monday night at 10 p.m. And the reason why I say that is because they didn't want to do shit. The guests that they had come up here thus far was all interested in the hiking and the archery and, you know, the boating and, and, and the sports and camping and things like that. And they didn't want to do nothing. And my whole thing is, and Adam said it best, like, girl, if y'all want to do that, y'all pick the wrong place to come. Why are y'all here? And I felt the same, like, I have no interest in talking to them damn valley chicks. Like, I, you know, it, they, they, it, they bored me. I'm sorry. They bored me. Nanili, you seem like you was cool with one person, with one of them that was there. And I don't mean no harm to your homegirl, sis, but that bitch bored me. Her and her crowd, they bored me. Um... It, it was sad. Like, they didn't want to play sports. They didn't want to do the camping. They didn't really want to do the hiking. They didn't want to do all of the fun stuff that we have been seeing all of the other guests thus far been participating in. It wasn't fun. It was, I, I, I can live without seeing them hoes. I, they, no, 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 no. And then they tried this whole thing with, um, Gavin and Adam and and Sophie. Listen, Sophie, you know I don't really think that's fake, but what I do think is fake is Sophia. Sophia, you know good and damn well why Adam felt the way he felt. But girl, quiet as is kept. I ain't even mad with you. Like, you know Adam, what you did that killed me is that you're a very hypocritical person. See, it's never no fun when the rabbit got the gun. In the prior episodes, you was all up on Randall, making Randall think one thing, making Sophia think one thing. And the same way that Sophia was feeling that episode was the same way your, your ass felt in this episode. It don't feel good, do it? I know it don't. I know it don't. 
And part of me feels like Sophia knew exactly what she was doing. Sophia let it be known. The same way you think you can run around out here doing whatever you want to do. You know, yeah, it's going to hurt my heart, my achy, breaky heart. But, you know, I ain't no ugly woman. And I could go out here and have my pick. I could go out here and have a, I fuck around and, 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 get a, and get a long mandingo up on your ass. That's the real reason why Adam felt some kind of way because we all know Adam ain't packing nearly as much as what Gavin got. And we already figured that out when he came out there in them last tight ass uh, swim shorts that he had. Who wears short shorts? He wears short shorts with no kind of print. I mean, I wouldn't have been mad at you if you did it, Sophia, girl, quiet as his cap. I would have been hating. That's real. Um, Nothing happened between Nile and Monica, and I'm glad it didn't. Um, Hopefully, Nile done got up out his purse long enough to realize that the way he was acting was completely childish, bumfoolic, and unnecessary. And hopefully, you know, he, he done got up out his bag and, you know, realized that the water just won't that damn deep. Um, um, y'all, I'm trying. I'm, I'm six minutes in. Um, what else? Um, you know, I wish Claire that you would lighten up a little bit. Like I get that the people were supposed to be there at a certain time and I understand all of that, but I got where Neely was coming from. Like, bitch, we was hiking. You know what I'm saying? We was doing trapeze and, 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 and zip lining and this, that, that. And it's like, girl, we tired. Can we get at least a, a grace period or something? Like, you know, Claire, I'm more than sure there were other people at that camp that could have helped out. I understand that those particular people are cast members, but it's like, damn. Girl, stop trying to act like y'all that's shorthanded. Um, the toga party was cute. I was here for the toga party. Um, wait, the camp, the camping, which really pissed me off. Y'all, listen, I was a Boy Scout. I started off as a Weeblow Scout, then I transitioned into Boy Scouts, okay? I never did Eagle Scout, because by that time, I was in high school, I was a band, I was a gospel choir, bitch, I had a life. Um, but when I did go camping, I really enjoyed it. Like, going camping, a lot of people feel like it's exhausting and it's tedious, and don't get me wrong, the beginning when you're setting up. And when you leave it, it is. But once you get past all of that, it is like really, really fun. It's exciting. Like, you know, they had s'mores out there, roasted marshmallows, finna tell ghost stories, girl. Now, and uh, Glenn scared the pants off of all of them with Monica telling that cockamamie story. And maybe it ain't cockamamie. It could be some truth to it. You know, mine, hit me up in the comments, girl. Let me know. Did Claire really tell you that? And maybe some truth to it. And if it is, y'all better sage them damn um, cabins. Y'all got cheer in there. Um, you know, but that was fun. But then the girls that was there was like, oh, well, I'm about to go back to my cabin. Bitch, I know you fucking lying. Not after I just sat here and had to put up all of these cheap ass tents and, you know, Girl, hit my damn thumb. I'm walking around here with, with uh, bandages on my thumb for trying to nail the shit down up in there. And then y'all hoes think y'all gonna come out here and waste our time? Girl, I know you lying to me. See, y'all much better than I will ever be because it won't no way. Girl, listen, them hoes can go, but we gonna stay. After all of this hard work we went through to put up these tents. Girl, please. Um, The toga party was cute. I was for the toga party. Glenn... Glenn, you don't need to drink no more, baby. You one of them ones that do not know how to hold day liquor. Um, you could put up, you could put down some liquor, but you sure can't hold it. Um, and I was with David for throwing your drunk ass up out the party. Like, it's okay to go out and have fun and have a couple of drinks, but everybody should know their limit at this point. And I feel like Glenn, if you don't know your limit, then you should not be drinking. Or if you are going to drink, drink some wine. Don't drink nothing hardcore. Don't drink no clear. Don't drink no dark. Don't drink no in between. 
um, because you were stumbling all over stuff. And I'm more than sure you was bumping all into the people that was dead, getting glitter all on them. Like you were supposed to get this woman a glitter bomb and sh instead of having the glitter on her face, she tasting the glitter in her mouth. Like, and you could tell she was not featuring that at all, Miss Glenn. And then you set up and had the nerve to have even more drinks. They was getting ready to leave. You like, no, nah, I want to dance some more. Thinking that you was down to a nasty gay club around there when they got um condoms, used condoms and shit all over the bathroom floor. Like, you need to be more conscious of where you're at. And at the end of the day, yeah, you're there to have fun, but that's still your job. So I was with David for putting your ass out. Um, Then we see you have a damn psychotic psychosis down to the next episode. I'm really glad Monica was there. That's right, a person, the girl, that's your specialty. And quiet as kept, if you help him, you better be sending him a nasty bill. Like y'all friends and all, work ain't honest, but to pay the bills, bump, 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 bump. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I ain't got no more to give you. Um, yeah, the episode, I could have lived without it. I'm just going to be real. But y'all drop down. Let me know if y'all watched it. Let me know how y'all felt about it. And yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bye. I just woke up and I rolled up. I just woke up and I rolled up. Catch that be my starter, my starter kid. Kid.